Hi, welcome to Oko Hamster. Recently I got the Kasori 8 quart pressure cooker. Now this is not my first pressure cooker. The one I had in the past, those were like 6 quart. And with this many folks in the household, it was just easier to get the 8 quart one. And it's not that much more expensive too. With the Kasori one, here's some of the things it came with. A little steaming tray over here. Like spoons, a scooper for rice, a measuring cup. A replacement sealer ring. This is for the larger one. Let me just move on here. The one on this side, right over here. The user manual is pretty well written, easy to follow, and here's some quick recipes. I'm just going to show some of the contents. If you want to read any part in this more detail, just feel free to pause the video. And what I really like using the pressure cooker for are for stew or anything that takes a while to cook like uh, green bean soup, beef stew, and what we made yesterday was this. Well, with the 8 quarts, we don't have an 8 quart pot to put it in so we just place it in this. It also came with this lid. Now this lid is great for when I'm like, trying to saute something. And actually, let me take this, open this here for a sec. So with the lid, but I don't store my food in here it's because I try to move it inside, in and out of the fridge, not that easy. There's really no much, not much of a handle. It's really just a, a container. A little measuring information right there. Cups, max liters, and for liters it goes up to six. And I was actually proud to make the uh, the green bean soup or some type of snack later. Everything locks in place. Now, also, this part, I can remove it to wash it by just unscrewing this piece here. The power cord is very short. It's probably maybe a little bit like three, three and a half feet. It's, uh, yeah. I don't usually cook over here. I cook on the other side of the kitchen while on the countertop. But I just want to point out that the power cord is just really short. Here's the advertising printed on the side of the box over here. And it consumes 1200 watts of power. But that's, for me, that's okay it's because, well, if I was to make this stew, I would have had to keep the gas on high at well, medium for about another four hours. Whereas with this, I got everything done in one hour. Here's all everything that came in the packaging. I don't see myself making yogurt from this, but there are instructions in their cookbook. You can make rice, uh, taco, lots of other things. And here's some, here's more of the information on the control panel. So for the beef stew, I used this before. And for the green beans, well, I'll be using this one. It's very easy to use, very easy to clean, and it costs less than other pressure cookers out there. Overall, I like this item, and yes, I recommend it. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Uncle Hamster. Bye.